Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you step by step how you can convert a rectangle into a series of Voronoi's in the two edges, uh, design a column, uh, create a extrusion, a railing, and finally you can control all of the parameters in the algorithm. Before we start the tutorial step by step, if you're a beginner and new to Grasshopper, let me teach you a simple trick you can use and use it in your project. So for example, if I go to the mesh, a triangulation and use the Voronoi uh, component, uh, we can create random points inside a rectangle. So for example, if I create a rectangle here, which we're going to use in this tutorial, and set this to the curve, and uh, we need some random points for the Voronoi. So we can go to the vector grid and use the popular geometry to create random points on any geometry. Because if you give the curve to the geometry, it's going to create random points on the curve. Uh, we can simply go to the params menu and connect a geometry surface to the curve, convert it into a surface, and then give it to the geometry. Now we have control over the number of counts, which is the number of points we want on the surface, and also a number slider, uh, which is a number for the engine of the random points, which we can change the location. And now I can give that to the point. For the boundary, you can simply give that rectangle as the boundary and it's going to create uh, Voronoi cells inside this rectangle. Uh, what I want to explain here is to get rid of those Voronoi cells uh, which have intersection with the edge and only have complete or whole cells inside the output, which is a good technique you can learn also in this course lesson. So what I want to do is to go to the intersection physical and use the curve curve command and find the intersection between the Voronoi cells and the boundary we have here. And as you can see here, it has some intersections. Some of those cells uh, has four intersections, some of, uh, some of them has two, and some of them has zero intersection. What we want to do here is to go to the set and list length the number of points in the intersection output. As you can see here, some of them has four, two, or zero. Uh, zero means actually we can use that as a true false indicator so zero means false actually one two or whatever uh, number bigger than one is going to be true so if we give that a zero which doesn't have intersection will go to one group and another one others will go to the true group so I'm going to flatten this so I have all of the uh, counts here and then I can go to the set list dispatching and dispatch all of those cells with this true false. And now I have those curves which are inside and uh, intersected with the boundary or inside the boundary. So if I turn everything off, here you can see that you can create those cells inside a complete rectangular boundary. Okay, at the end we can also use a curve uh, utility and offset curve loose. Give the distance a minus x so it goes inwards. And give this a number slider to offset them inwards. Uh, as you can see here, some of them have intersection. You can fix that by going to the surface, boundary surface, graph the offset curve loose and give it to the boundary surface. These uh, surfaces are going to be separate. So here you can see that we have two surfaces. Now we can say surface area, find their area, set list sort, sort the area from smallest to biggest. And while we are sorting the area, we are also going to sort the surfaces. Now if I pick the list item and say I want the surfaces here and reverse it, it's going to pick the biggest surface possible. Then I can just turn this off and connect a curve to it to get a clean offset. So this is one of the lessons we're going to learn in this course. And then we're going to use the surface boundary, use the main curve, and use the shift key to flatten it. And now we will have these boundaries between the cells and the offset. So remember that you can simply uh, just make uh, offset loose and then use the boundary surface, you remember to graft it, and uh, then you can also extrude it up if you want some dimensions in the z-direction, 
and I'm going to give this up. So this is going to be in the Z direction. So if I just connect the BREP edges, you can see the edges. Uh, here we have the extrusion, a simple extrusion. Uh, we have some offset and uh, we have some cells that we can create inside the boundary. Uh, you can also use the second group of curves and simply maybe connect them to a surface to create them into a surface and extrude them up the same as these cells. And uh, we can give another custom preview to this one with a BREP edge and use a swatch. Uh, maybe this is like a panel like this. Go to the rendered mode and uh, we can also change the document preview to black. You see the edges and that's how you can create those cells randomly inside a boundary. So the algorithm is really easy. Uh, you can simply connect that to a uh, poplar geometry, a Voronoi, uh, find their intersection, get the list length, dispatch them into two group, uh, get the curves that are on the edge, extrude them up, and get the curves which are inside it, offset them, uh, use this technique that I explained to convert them into a boundary surface, and then extrude them to get the final results. I hope this tutorial was useful. If you want to learn the lesson or the course step by step, uh, you can check out the link below and see you next time. Bye.